this is communicating. The ears are a gauge to the eye. The eye is a gauge to the mind. And, what, and the eyes, they say, you know, the eyes are the window to the soul, right? You've heard that. When I can see what my horse's eyes and I can see my horse's ears, I get a read on what they're thinking. And it's the same with people. You know, I look at all of you and I think to myself, do they buy what I'm saying? Do they think I'm, like, making it up? Do they think I'm crazy? You know what I mean? I watch everybody. Because if I didn't watch you, I would have no idea if I'm making sense. And it's this, so when we work with our horses, we can look at their head. There's a time riding where you'd say, well, you're not supposed to look at the horse's head, and I'd agree with you. But because my eyes are soft and open, I can see a wide field of view. I can look up, and I can see his ears right now. I'm not looking right at his head, but I can see his ears. So I'm not looking here because my body will go there. I'm looking up here, but I'm as soft as I can opening up my field of view. Now all of you try soft eyes. It's the same thing you do when you're driving your horse trailer down the freeway and you're looking through the windshield and your side mirrors and your rear view. It's that. So try that. Open up your field of view, wide and open, and when you do this, you'll sit up. You'll lift your chin. And when you do this with your eyes and you open your periphery up, you'll relax. You'll relax. So when you ride horses, we all could relax a little more sometimes. If I'm staring at my horse all the time, I miss what spooks him. He runs the show, he makes the decisions because I wasn't aware of the cowboy action shooting or whatever. He says, well, you aren't fit to be, the, be my leader. I'll make decisions. But if I'm looking at something, if somebody's coming in the arena, he's already, look at that, he's already looking. But if somebody's coming in the arena and I know that and I say, hey, look over there and I take my horse there, I was his eyes and I showed him. So if I think something's going to make my horse nervous, what I'll do is I'll use that and I'll say, hey, here's some people. Let's go, let's go by the people, right? Or let's go down the rail here and let's look out that door. There's a little light coming in through that door. So my eyes are up and soft, but I'm thinking about forward so his ears go forward. When I look to the left, you might see that ear come back left and then I could go forward those ears ride up, you know? And if I go to the right, I could wiggle my right rein, I could wiggle my right leg, and maybe I could get that ear to come back to the right. So I call that riding the ears, but really, I tried to call that riding the mind, directing the mind, but it, people don't, it doesn't stick. But if I say riding the ears, getting the horse to look forward, or getting the right ear back, or getting the left ear back. If I do that, I call it riding the ears and people, it sticks. But you're riding the mind, right? And uh, you do this when you don't realize you're doing it. Oftentimes you'll be talking to your friend next to you and your horse will turn and look where you're looking. And I see horses that are looking where their rider's looking. It's really cool. And that horse is feeling for you and trying and oftentimes people don't notice it. I've even seen this happen. I've seen somebody look over to the side and the horse turns and then they pick up the rein. And they go, where are you going? And they try to straighten the horse out. And you know what they, you did? They killed the horse's try. They killed the curiosity. Keep it in there. But we have to be cognizant of the horse's eyes and ears and awareness. And I know I'm going a long time on this, but it's so important. So as we ride, let's think about this. All right. So remember on the ground I got tall to get life? So we sit up. This is herd, this is herd behavior. If I sit tall, he comes up. So then I think about exhaling and breathing into the saddle and I could relax my muscle tone. Thinking about like something like, I'm going to sit really relaxed, but maybe I'll sit like jello-y. So I'm just going to get real low. Now, I know that's an exaggeration, but my muscle tone got real soft. So now I sit up, I look up, 
My aids are action. I'm indicating action through my body getting tall, through my movement of my seat back to front, and through even sometimes your leg, just like on the ground. We stand tall, we lead, we move our feet. Well, stand tall, lead, and I'm not going to move my feet. I don't need to, but if I had to, I would. So I could even move my feet. I could move my legs. How many of you sort of need to ride with your legs still? Raise your hand. And it's not a, it's, it's a place to start, but who uses their legs to ride? Be honest. Okay. Yeah. Say that again. Everything. Riding and jumping. Aiding. Ta aiding means to speak to your horse. So who uses their legs to talk to their horse? Okay. Do you want to do that? If you use your legs, do I, do I notice you use your legs? Do I see it? Yeah. If I use my legs, my horse notices it. Now there's a place for your leg, and we do start there. We can do that. But let me give you a suggestion. When you use your leg, don't hold. Don't hold anything. Bumping is a good word. You could swing, you could bump, you could wiggle. So don't hold for now. Save holding for later on. You'll love it later. When you hold a leg, we're saying to the horse, lift your back, lift your barrel, elevate, and come up. And maybe even flex vertically. But don't hold your leg to get forward. But what you could do with your leg is this. First, sit up. Second, make sure your hips are, are walking. Third, open the leg. Fourth, we could wiggle it. And watch how loose my leg is. I'm not using a lot of effort. Check this out. When I want to go forward and I do use leg, watch my leg. It's like coming from my hip and my knee. And like right now, I'm just letting my leg hang. And if I were to wiggle my leg, let's do this side so you can see. If I wiggle my leg, this is how much leg I might use for now. If I had to get firmer, I could still kick him, but don't kick and hold. Get off the horse. If you have to wiggle your leg and bump him and kick him, don't hold it. Just relax again. So you're always coming back to what I would call a neutral, a neutral leg, a relaxed leg. So I sit up, my hips move, and if I needed to, I could wiggle my leg or work my leg, and we'd see if we could get him moving out. 